Hey, it's John in the workshop today, and can you escape this little green blob of awesomeness? You can't. Photos Mint did us all a favor and put together another new fantastic model that's available on his Patreon. And I'm going to give you a good look at it and show you how I printed it and what I printed it with. It's more Baby Yoda. Right here on 9142 Props and Armory. I saw this on Twitter yesterday morning. Boda Smith released his version and his digital model of Baby Yoda from Episode 4 of The Mandalorian, where we all know he's hanging out, having himself a nice little bowl of bone broth, just taking things in. And now he's become, well, he's everything. He's everywhere. And he's replacing good old Kermit the Frog drinking tea. That meme? There you go. So I printed a couple different versions of the model. Uh, the model is available, again, on Photos Mint's Patreon. Link will be down in the description for that on how to get to there and become a patron of his to get access to this fantastic model. And one of the resins that I've been using now for probably the last four or five months and using it almost exclusively is the Elegoo Photopolymer Resin uh, that's available all over the place. I'll have links down in the description. Uh, Amazon is where I usually pick mine up. It's available in a ton of different colors. Um, I've printed a lot in black, some in clear, some in gray. Uh, first of all, I just want to say Elegoo does a great job of packaging this. Uh, it comes in this box. It is bubble wrapped to hell inside of there. Uh, my bottles have all arrived in perfect shape. Uh, there are a ton of different colors that are available. Um, translucent, yellow, black, green, gray, red, blue, white, and maroon. I've used about a third of those so far and i got to order a couple more. The resin prints very, very, very well. On the black that I used for this Baby Yoda model, I print it at about um, 12 second layer exposure on my Anycubic Photon with about a 65 second uh, initial layers on there. And the results with this model and with others are fantastic. Now it's not the fastest printing resin out there. That's one of the reasons that I still like the Nova as well because Nova I could print in 8 second layers, this I have to average about 12, sometimes 13 depending on the model. So it's just going to be about 50% you know, slower than the Nova is, but you can't argue with the results. That is Photos Mint's Baby Yoda model printed on my Anycubic Photon at a .05 layer height. Again, with uh, 12 second layer exposures, it is a fantastic model and a fantastic result in the uh, Elegoo uh, photopolymer resin as well. Now, I saw this yesterday. I had to print it right away because this is exactly what my daughter has been asking me for. Um, after she saw this little guy and started seeing the meme, she wanted to have it. My son had to have one. My wife wanted one. And I'm going to give you a chance to get one too. So uh, if you like the channel and make a comment down below, uh, I'll go ahead and pick one of, one of you out to get one of these and I'll send it off to you after I put my next video up on uh, Wednesday next week. We'll send you, I'll send you out one of these. You can have one of your very own just in time for the holidays. Perfect little uh, companion for driving. It'll look real nice up on your dashboard or anywhere you might want to put him. So make a comment down below and I will give one of these away and send it off to you. All right, but Baby Yoda is not the only thing that I've been printing in the Elegoo resin. Most of my parts that I print for builds that I do for folks, this is part of a, a DL44 blaster, uh, is printed in the Elegoo. Uh, the results are fantastic. The finish is fantastic on these each and every time. And I just really, really uh, enjoy printing with this resin. I don't have to have worries about failures. As long as my model is set right, my supports are good, I'm going to hit start on my photon and come back and it's going to be good. All right, but not to be outdone by just merely printing uh, Photosmint's 
uh, model of the child on my resin printer. I printed a couple more on FDM machines. This one was printed on my CR10. It was printed in some new filament that I picked up the other day um, from Overture uh, in their PLA Pro. This is their PLA Pro White. Um, results with this model uh, on the FDM machine were very good as well. Now, there are a couple of inconsistencies in here, minor little shifts in the layers, nothing terrible on there that's now no fault of the, the filament there. That's more of my settings and trying to rush this print to be done and the other ones that I printed overnight last night. But just really want to call out Photosmint's model here. Textures and everything are, are really, really gorgeous. And unfortunately, the FDM can't capture it as well as the resin does. But thank you to everybody who has watched the, uh, the build of my uh, Baby Yoda from, uh, printed from Sean Field's models. Um, I will get a th part three of that up, uh, hopefully in the next week where I finish it up. I get some hair on him. Uh, get that jacket finished up, and we'll go through how to do that. Also, too, I have not forgotten about R2. R2 was out earlier today. I uh, shot a little video of R2 because it is December here in Chicagoland. It is not snowing. It is a sunny day outside. and got some really good video of that and had a couple minor disasters. Um, I dropped the camera not once, not twice. Fantastic. So look for a part three of the R2-D2 3D printed budget build coming up very soon as well. Thanks to all of you who watched the Baby Yoda videos over the past week or two. Uh, got a ton of views on those, got a ton of new subscribers. Thank you all for doing that. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, give it a thumbs up as well. And be sure to let me know what you think of this and everything else for that matter. If you like my shirt? Run, don't walk. It's available from Photosmith. On his Patreon page, a link will be down below. Um, get yourself some Elegoo resin for your uh, LCD 3D printer. It's excellent stuff. I will continue to use this. There will be a link down in the description for that as well. Uh, using those links to, to purchase things like this does help me continue to do videos, purchase more materials to make more videos, and do cool things like the R2D2 build. Thanks to all of you. Hope you have a fantastic week. I'll see you real soon. I'm going to get back to my coffee and get back to work. It's John. It's 9142 Props and Armory. See you later.